To write the Lewis structure for BaCl2, barium chloride, let's first write barium, Ba, and then put a chlorine on either side. Barium, that's a metal, and then chlorine, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, or nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. And in ionic compounds, valence electrons are transferred. So we go to the periodic table, and barium, that's in group two, so it has two valence electrons. Chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, it has seven valence electrons. So we said that for ionic compounds, the metal, that'll transfer valence electrons to the nonmetal. So the barium transfers this valence electron to the chlorine, and now the chlorine has eight valence electrons. That's an octet, and it's very stable. Then the other electron goes to this chlorine, and now it has an octet, and it's stable. The barium, however, it's lost both of its valence electrons, and electrons are negative. So since it lost these two negative charges, it's now two plus. And the chlorines, they each have a negative charge. We should put brackets around each of these chloride ions here. And we do that to show that these electrons, we had two electrons for barium, that they have been transferred. They're no longer with the barium, and they aren't shared between these two atoms like they would be in a covalent bond. Sometimes you'll also see brackets around the positive ion. And that's the Lewis structure for BaCl2, barium chloride. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. With ionic compounds, we have crystals, and they're made up of repeating formula units. This is Dr. V with the Lewis structure for BaCl2, and thanks for watching.